America, y'all saw my opinion on the relationship between Larsa Pippen, ex-wife of NBA legend Scotty Pippen, and Marcus Jordan. Are you, gonna be able to, are you gonna be able to pull through? Are you gonna be able to pull through this episode? Do this, the, do the same. The son of the great, <laughs> the goat, Michael Jordan. Y'all saw that last week. If you didn't, make sure you go watch that. You also <laughs> saw my crazy ass brother's opinion on the matter as well. Like I said, yeah, that one over there, Tim G. Jacob. If you didn't see it, make sure you go back and watch that. Okay. Um, my brother has some uh some some breaking news some latest news i should say it's not breaking it's already out there okay so this is the latest news on this uh crisis for my childhood at least okay because <laughs> larsa pippen she decided to chime in on people's discussions of what's going on and she 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 did that in the shade room okay well a lot of people like to go and get their information you know, right. uh, 21 Savage said in the, uh, one of the latest songs, the Shade Room is entertaining to him, okay? Mm -hmm. I guess uh, United States versus Britain probably was entertaining to him, too, in the, in the World Cup, but I digress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I digress. Uh, that's, that's petty. That's being petty. Man, the whole Britain, he ain't said it. Okay, but I, did, I digress. But uh, we about to talk about it. I... I'm unmoved by it. I'm gonna let my brother read y'all what the woman said. Okay, I'm un I'm gonna tell y'all all the time. I'm unmoved by it. I'm unmoved. This shit it's is still wrong. It's it's still wrong. It's wrong. Okay, but I'm gonna see what y'all think. Okay, I'm gonna see what y'all think. T, <laughs> what did this lady have to say in her defense of her relationship? Did she Mark? ain't had. She ain't done nothing wrong. She did a lot wrong. She ain't done nothing wrong. Both of them did a lot wrong. Man, what you what you got? She said, "Okay, and this is the shade room. Somebody put on blast at the Rams game. I think it was. Yes, you said that. One of y'all said that to the group. I think that was me. Dude walked down and just went ham. Like, wow, Lars, is this how you do? You 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 hitting the man's man's right here." Like for real, and, and told her she a cold motherfucker. You a cold? Hey, that 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 sounded like a sign of respect, in my opinion. But I need I digress. I digress. You a cold mother? But anyway, I thought it was you. I thought it was you. I thought you flew out. Thought you said something to her. I thought you. I thought it was you. I was saying something to both of. <laughs> what you saying something to him for? Cause they ain't got no business. Got no pity, he grown. Yes, he grown. There's plenty of other pussy he could be out here fucking to you. Let the people know what the woman said in defense. <laughs> he want me to go on past that. Okay. Yeah. All right. She said, I just met him three years ago. I never knew him or his family. I was 21 years old and in college was when Scotty played that one year with MJ, and we weren't friends with them like everyone thinks. That's what she said in reference to basically her being seen out in public with Mike Marcus Jordan, who is 31, by the way. She is 48. Okay, so so, so about 17 years. Now they now they said Marcus was, was um uh, yeah, he's 31, was born on Christmas Eve, 1990. So, you know, you know. So, I mean, you know, you know, let's just get right to it. Let's just get right to it. Let's just go on and do this here. There's somebody out there for everybody. And sometimes somebody ain't always the permanent in your life. And sometimes Marcus, maybe Marcus just experiencing some things. Mm -hmm. Maybe these young bros just ain't really going. We've been having the debate on the internet. Social media been saying it. The young the young women ain't keeping up with the old lady. The old lady's been been in their bag. They've been in the gym. They eating right. They looking good. They keeping their skin good. They ain't out here drinking alcohol and acting a fool and whoop whoop. And maybe Larsa just is more appealing than what is currently in Marcus's circle. Mm -hmm. His his normal day to day. Mm -hmm. 
And maybe it's just the right thing to do. Maybe she teach him something. Maybe she teach him something. That's all I'm saying. So I I get Larson needed to defend the situation now. She said the one year with Scotty. Now I just say now Larson, was you around when 97 happened? 97, 98 happened, ma'am? Because they said they was dating for two years and they got married 97, 98. Is that right? Mm-hmm. That the way we, that's the way we read that 1997 going into the 97 98 season yeah which which if which as you have spoken of if you want to give the people the whole thing with pip in that summer and not messing up his summer and all that here what it boiled down to though loss ain't doing nothing wrong loss ain't doing nothing wrong loss probably ain't never met mike Okay, I'm glad you said that. She might not ever met Mike. I'm sending you right now to your phone. In America, y'all gonna see the picture on the screen, okay? You gonna see the picture on the screen. I am sending you evidence that she has, in fact, met Michael Jeffrey Jordan and Mike's current wife, okay? Her, Mike, Scotty, Mike's wife, and Amar Rashad. All right there in one picture, celebrating Scotty's 47th birthday. Mm-hmm. Okay? 47th birthday. Yes. This is this is from 2012. This article was posted by BallersLife.com. Shout out to Ballers Life. Okay? September 27, 2012. Mm-hmm. Okay? She right there with him. And was she like, drunk? See there. You know That's... something where that woman and met Michael Jeffrey Jordan. <laughs> was she drunk? This, 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 she just lying. It's okay to lie. Just lying. Lie to be with who you want to be with. Okay. She, she, stuff like that. This what uh, this, this what almost made me break psychotic the other day. I'm gonna tell you this. I thought about this. America, okay. <laughs> Worry about my boy Scott. Why? Because Scotty bet not have to be paying alimony to this woman. Scotty is paying alimony to this woman. Mm. Down his main. Mm. No. Oh, no, no, no. For y'all young boys, I do. Y'all OG, y'all know about alimony. Let me talk about young boys. Okay. So we we got some BG be watching, put it on. So we appreciate y'all. Alimony, young bloods, that's spousal support. Y'all know about child support, right? Okay. There's a thing called spousal support that when you and your woman don't work out, and it can go the other way, but usually it's the man. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you ain't gonna get the federal line. You ain't gonna get the federal line. Yeah, you ain't you, you about ain't finna get that. Okay. We, we talking about Kevin Federline, who was married to Britney Spears. He ended up getting some money after they split. No, no, no. Usually it's the man that if the marriage ends in divorce. Your ass got to keep paying the woman for years to come. You ain't even fucking her no more. Y'all mm-hmm. ain't together. She fucking somebody else. She mm-hmm. might be living in your fucking crib and everything and you giving her money. Because a judge might say, you got to keep giving her the life that she was accustomed to. Uh-uh, that's Marvin it. Marvin Gaye made a that's whole record that's about it called Hear My Deal. That's My boy Scotty bet not. He is. Be on no papers. True. Paying this woman no alimony. Why wouldn't he? Up here fucking Marcus Jordan. They got four kids together, they say. <laughs> huh? She better have her own money. She did BH1 or whatever. She did basketball wives or something uh-huh, like that. Uh-huh, she's, uh-huh. She a figure. She's out uh-huh, here. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. She got her own no, money. She... If, if she want to make these, her, these moves, these kind of moves. What's wrong with the moves she making? T. No, no, no. I would have to see about you if you were going through this. I would have to keep you from going to prison if you had to pay alimony while your woman was fucking a seven, a, a, some young man. First of all, who, who who was like your teammate? First of all, let's do this. Scotty, I love Scotty. Don't ever think. You still a Bull fan? I'm still a Bulls fan. I'm still over here with DeRozan, and 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 Zach Levine, and Vucevic. I'm with him all the time, watching the disappointment. I'm watching it. 
Scotty picked a woman that was 21 years old. Let's keep it a buck. That's legal. This ain't R. Kelly in the game. It's legal. It's legal right now. What Lawson it's, doing? It's legal, but it is unethical. What this? This is what and I'm what, saying. What, what Mark is too. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Scotty dealing with a woman that I'm gonna say is ten plus years older than him, right? Can we Scotty. say that fairly? Ten plus years older. Who? Who? Scotty. Larson. Larson to Scotty before they got married. Well, she's younger than she's him. younger than him 10 years you know scott is 10 years older than her whatever whatever yeah okay so scotty scotty deals with scotty dealing with her they were married they finalized the divorce in 21 as the as the article is written they got together in nine they married in 97 so they've been together 24 years if they just not finalized that divorce, she probably That's got what my said. Ball papers. That's what it said. She better not. That's what it said. Scotty, been... Scotty, I'm with you. And that's okay. And that's great. I, 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 you should be with him. But my thing is, you pick when you pick. Listen, it's like my daddy told okay, me. Okay, I think you about to give some game. I, I see where you're going. Hold on. Let, let me give you your, your spotlight. It's like the plum tree. If you young folks out there. OGs know what I'm talking about. Anybody, when you're at the plum tree, do you want what's on the ground? And that's not to say Larsa was even on the ground. I'm I don't know Larsa from 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 you know Joe's house cat. I don't know. Her. All I'm saying is, when you pick, you better pick right. Pick it right. Right. Don't pick the low hanging fruit. Go up the tree, climb your ass up that tree, and get you a good plum. Don't get no bullshit down here on this ground. Just because it ain't got no holes in it or nothing, don't get it off the ground. Mm -hmm. And if it does have a hole in it, there's a worm in that thing, and it could be bad. Don't get it. Now, could you not give that same message to Marcus? Marcus, Marcus is just... could be fucking any Instagram model he want to be fucking. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Now, Mike, Mike's a Q. Is that right? Ain't Mike a Q? Q dog. Yep. Now, ain't nothing against no Qs out there. I got Qs where I, in my in my circle. Right. No people. Right, right, right. That ain't what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, Marcus better understand. What he need to understand, if you understand what I'm saying. Now, I don't know if Marcus is a cute dog. I know Mike. No, is. no, no, no. I know, but I'm just saying, Marcus need to understand what he need to understand. It's business. If that means your dick happy after the at the end of the day, that business. If that means you smashing Larson, and and that's just what it's gonna be. That's business. It's business. It ain't got to be. You no, know, I see a future. No. -uh. Future saw future with Larsa, and he moved on. When when his dad in the middle of a beef with this dude, though. There ain't no beef. No boy beefing. They ain't beefing. Mike don't give a shit. Mike don't care nothing about what Scotty talking about. This is the dude. You know Mike does care. This is the dude who stopped fucking with his close friend, Charles Barkley, because Chuck said he can't run a damn team right. Has he ever rekindled? No. Then that means Mike don't care. If That's Scotty what you don't care, no, Mike don't care. Mike don't care because Mike ain't gave Charles no second chance. Scotty ain't getting no second chance either. Out here trying to flame him and everything. Hey man, this was your this what you did for me. You you made you played great defense. You was a great teammate. We won six titles together. I'm gonna put you where I need to put you. But at the end of the day. I raised my boy, and my boy, and my boy is with your girl, and that ain't my problem. That ain't my problem. He didn't call me for clearance. I bet you Marcus didn't call Mike for clearance. Hey, Dad. Hey, man, lost a, Hey, Miss Miss Pippen. He he probably called her Miss Pippen the first time he mentioned it to him. He didn't do that, Miss Pippen. No, he ain't do that. I ain't know, and you tell me they just got divorced last year for real, for real. That's what it said. They said well, they, they said it been on and off. It, it, the publications say they've been back and forth trying to finalize it. Been years hanging on, and 
folks trying to fix it and this, that, and the third. And it finally, finally finalized the 21. So now that got now I got to back up and ask you this. That's the case. She was running around with future and Malik Beasley before it was finalized. So what you got to say to them? Mark is free and clear. He like this right now. They have no ties to the, the, the Bulls or – I mean, don't they just – that you your know, defense? You know defense? Future just out there being future. <laughs> he ain't got no ties to Scottie Pippen. And Malik Beasley ain't got no ties to Scottie Pippen. This – What is Is it? Michael jo – Michael Jordan said, you can't say my name without saying Scottie Pippen. And, and, he's, and he's right about that. He's no, right about he's that. He's right about that in the wrong way now. That's no. in a whole wrong way no, now. Oh, sir. What you said last week? You said if they have a kid, the kid name ain't going to be Marcus Pippen Marcus Jordan. Pippen Jordan. Jordan Pippen. Whatever. That's okay. If it happens, it happens. This is what I'm saying. It ain't going to happen. Marcus needs to understand that this is for a time, a season. Maybe he just needed a cougar for the this cold. Boy, this boy sees. Maybe, maybe it's just a, maybe he need a cougar for the cold. And then when it warm back up and them sundresses come out, he go back to doing what he do. This ain't gonna be nothing long. Oh, so her her explanation holds weight with you? No, it does not. It absolutely does not. It absolutely does not. Because of because I'm I'm I knew when she said all that. I said, look. They done been together somewhere else, somehow. And I ain't talking about her and Marcus. I'm talking about Scotty, Larsa, Mike, Miss Juanita, or whatever. They have been around each other at some point. Because there's no way you can avoid that. It had to have happened. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. But my thing is... <laughs> what does Juanita feel about it? What, what do you mean? Why, Nobody why wants to speak to you. Why Nita? You why know you why Nita, her into this? Why Nita don't like this? I bet you. You know why Nita don't like this. Okay. Ask your wife. I want to know what my sister-in-law feel about this. I want to know. I know my sister-in-law would not like no shit like this. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. Now, listen here. This is how, I, this how I'm going to put it to you. This is how I'm going to put it to you. If Mike done raised that young man like he's supposed to raise what am I supposed to tell him at 31 years of age? Am I supposed to tell him no? Hell no? Am I supposed to say that? Yeah. As his father. He, yes. he Okay. Okay. And even if you do, what, what's, what's going to happen from that? Because he's still grown. He grown, but he's so tied to Michael Jordan. Jordan, it ain't like he got his own yeah. company over here just by himself. He built himself up to be this yeah. man totally separate of his father he got a damn trophy room the only thing them that, shoes. the only thing that this whole situation is going to do for you is it's going to remind you that marcus jordan is michael jordan's son and larsa pippen is scotty pippen xy and this will fizzle out probably before valentine's day because you know you know what they say about valentine's day dude don't want to spend no money on them around valentine's and everything and right. then you just let it, you know, you let it go on back to the to the recycle pile. I ain't saying lost recycle, but you know, it's some stuff out there that make you think that. This is all I'm saying. It's just a thing. It's entertainment. This is good for TV. But by then, the damage will be done. To it ain't no boy, damage. My boy Scotty Pippen. Ain't no I, damage. That man has been through enough. If anything, He's if anything, Scotty and Mike are to get together. They ought to slow, slow cook some ribs. Okay. Have a cooler full of bourbon and, and beer and whatever. Scotty's Scotty got a cognac or a bourbon. What is it? He got some that had him okay. lifted up. Same okay. So you got that. You got Mike. You got Mike's cigars. Mike got his favorite cigars, all that. And y'all sit down. Just sit down and just go, what a time to be alive. That's what they need to just say to each other. And then just start reminiscing on the old stuff. Just start talking about the old stuff. How can they do that, T, while this is happening? This is That's not my Mike's point. fault. This is not Scotty's fault. This is just life. When hey, we don't know this. Okay. When you what have this kind of celebrity, like these people have the celebrity T. that is just it's otherworldly. We don't know. And we've heard of some messy shit in our lives. 
My wife liked to watch some messy shit, uh, paternity court. She used to watch divorce court, all kind of shit. I've never heard of a situation like this where you got the ex-wife and the son of two prominent co-workers fucking. I've never heard that in any kind of instance. Not that, not that particular situation. Not at this point in time, but I bet you it has happened in America. Because this America, Jack, I told you that last week. This America, Jack. You said it like that's an accomplishment of America. I this is America. It in America. It has happened. You just ain't heard the story. This is bad. T, this is, this is Jerry Springer. This is motherfucking divorce court. This is all that shit this wrapped is, in one. This is just what it is. And it's not good. Obviously, but Larson just wants to be with him for a while. Uh, maybe mother. it's just to, maybe it's just like to get her thing thinging again. Maybe it just make her feel better. Scotty, go get your good lawyer and get off alimony. If you own it, Scotty, don't stop payment. He gonna pay. Stop that. payment. He ain't gonna do it. He paid for a bad plane, if I remember right. Scotty just not Scotty just ain't like that with the money. Girl might be getting some of his main book money. Stop right. payment. He probably is, and it's okay. No, it's, it's just, not. It, it's Scotty. You got to make good business decisions. That's why I'm getting at. I'm not saying loss is bad. I'm just saying whatever she doing, she doing it well, and Scotty's not. Scotty ain't coming out of this situation smelling like no rose. That's true. That's true. And like I said before, Scotty might have showed his ass so much in the marriage that she might be at that point. What they say, ain't no one, ain't no woman like a woman, ain't no revenge like a woman scorn. I don't know. Some okay. shit about that, that stuff. R. Kelly, when a woman's fed up and all that kind of shit, the motherfucker. Okay, cool. Cool. But this shit here, Jack. And don't you think, and don't you think the wild card being Scotty Pippen Jr.? In that league is all right. Who losing on that deal? Nobody. It, it, listen, Lars's explanation was some cap, but this is today in in America, Jack, and this is just what it is. And yes, is it bad company? Yes, it is. But this is just what it is, yeah. and we just got to get used to it. Cause it's going to break up. The shade room's gonna get the same uh 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 post. They're gonna post it by February the ninth, right before Valentine's Day. They broke up. And everybody gonna be like, oh, 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 oh. And I'm gonna be like, what y'all owing for? They weren't gonna be around but for so long. Well, America, y'all chime in. Let us know the loss's explanation. Okay, that that she just met Marcus Jordan, that she never really kicked it with the family. I proven that part was a lie. Okay. Um wait now. When you say the family, do you say are we saying all the kids and Mike and Juanita? Or are we saying just Mike and Juanita? Because if that's the case. Maybe she ain't never met Marcus. If she just met Mike and Juanita. She didn't met Michael Jeffrey and that's enough. That's enough. And if she met Michael Jeffrey Jordan and the lady's wife, common sense tell me that after they won that title and everything like that, she met Juanita as well back then in 97, 98. She met them. She knows that. How the hell your husband on the bulls and you don't get a chance to meet Michael Jordan? She knows she didn't been around that man. She is capping. A woman that's sitting up here doing this, we I, I don't trust her whatsoever. Okay, so she fucking lying. They they lied to her previously, saying they just partners that they wouldn't even like that. They both liars. Okay, but I digress. Okay, the the loss of the explanation change your opinion <laughs> on the relationship between her and Marcus Jordan. Okay. Y'all see where I stand on it. You see where my crazy ass brother stands on it. Give okay? it till February. Right for Valentine. Marcus ain't gonna want to spend that money on no Valentine. On no on no bed of roses and no 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 uh he ain't gonna uh, have to, they gonna spend Scotty money and no VVS and no VVS diamonds. They're gonna be spending Scotty's alimony, and that's the fucking yeah. shit that might drive my boy over well, head. Well, if that's the case, then I bet I better see a nice roly out of Marcus then. 
He better be like this. Bling, bling. Put it on so. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do it?